to seven days and each of them something new has been revealed and in my most recent deliverance um he was um i had been feeling like restrictions and uh tightening on my on my like i, I can ex describe it it felt it did it felt like a snake was wrapping like a constriction like something was wrapping around my arms and i was being constricted and squeezed and pressed and I was feeling this, but I never, I didn't say anything. And at that time, I have a lot of tattoos. And at that time, he said, okay, well, we need to pray for over your tattoos. Um, you know, because the Lord just kept telling him, okay, like, let, let's just pray about it. I didn't know that tattoos and all those things were used by the Serpentine, you know, kingdom to as entry points. I grew up on by the Atlantic Ocean. So I grew up on, you know, the East Coast. He had asked, you know, why do I, you know, he sees the queen of the coast of the Atlantic Ocean. I was like, oh, wow. Like, I used to love the beach. I used to go there all the time when I was in the occult. I used to do, you know, things there, um, all these different things there. And it made so much sense why that would be popping up. But again, it's not something I necessarily thought of confronting or worrying about or anything like that even though it it makes sense but again i wasn't aware um so again we dealt with that i used to deal a lot with like uh indian um cultures or hinduism and like their their yogas and you know all these practices that they had um and one of the things he has it was like a, a hindu strong man and um you know and that again that made sense and i didn't tell him that before um and it was something that again was revealed and we dealt with it uh, demons were manifesting and i was on the floor i was close to my great grandmother and you know something that he didn't he, he obviously he wouldn't have known but it was something that was holding me and keeping me bound and i was in bondage from it and from that I was able to break it he was able to break it the lord was able to come and deliver me and it was addressed at that time and i was just so grateful and i saw that they had a deliverance ministry and i just know it was the ordained by god the whole session with apostle fred i mean literally during the manifestation i could feel the pain coming from my stomach when these demons were leaving me vomiting just screaming like all of these things were going on with me and as apostle fred could see the deposit that was made in my stomach as he was praying i could literally feel my stomach decreasing this is how powerful and anointing this session was with my first deliverance session i learned that there was an ancestral seed that had been planted um, and that was revealed prophetically to Apostle Fred. Um, this seed was planted way back and it was programmed to mess up my relationships with people. There was a demonic vow against my marriage. The enemy had stolen my glory um, along with my marital glory and it had all come through a marine princess and I had no idea this was actually operating in my life. But it explained a whole lot about why things had gone wrong for so long. I also learned um, working with Lady Abago in a live session that um, the Queen of the Coast was actually operating in my life because of something that happened in my childhood household. Uh, my mom actually owned furniture that was um, dedicated to deities. There were statues um, that were in our living room that were also dedicated to deities. And because of this unintentional altar um, and because of the dedication to the Marine Kingdom, it allowed the Queen of the Coast to operate in my life and the lives of others on my bloodline. I can even recall on my birthday session that I did with Apostle Fred, which I recommend everyone to do to reprogram um, the chapter um, that the Lord is giving you of, of new life. Um, I was able to get a lot of questions answered that I was seeking the Lord about for years. Um, it opened to open the door for um, new opportunities and also transformation in my life. Um, I can even recall my last deliverance session um, that was live um, over in Houston and I learned so much about what had happened in my marriage, what had happened over the last you know, decade or so over my life. Um, there was a transfer of finances, possessions, and even my glory, of course, that had been stolen. Um, they were patient, um, both working with me during that session, both Apostle Fred and Lady Abago. They did not give up on me and just say, you know what, this is too hard. They actually used their experience, their apostolic knowledge, prophetic revelation, word of knowledge, 
and the power and the authority given to them through the blood and of Jesus Christ to be able to assist me to be able to call out all of the spirits that were operating through me. They did not want to leave. They were actually screaming <laughs> to the top of my lungs to stay because they felt like they had ownership over me and my life. Um, there was even a dog spirit that had been identified. I found myself on the floor actually viciously barking at Apostle Fred um, because this dog spirit did not want to leave and he felt like he owned me and he possessed me. And my marriage had been being oppressed by spirit spouses. Um, there was a spirit of retrogression and operation, not only in my marriage, but also um, in my husband and I individually. Um, I had been um, experiencing just warfare relative to different opportunities, um, just different things in my business, um, different things in my personal life. And um, I can name off the different spirits that God told me. And when Holy Spirit told me to go to um, Army of God Ministries for a one-on-one -on -one deliverance session, I was like, okay, I don't know how virtual it's going to work, but my God, glory, glory be to God that the Holy Spirit is not limited to a building or needing to be in person because it, it moved mightily through Apostle Fred. It moved mightily in my one-on-one -on -one deliverance session. Apostle Fred was very um, acute in his seeing in the realm of the Spirit as to what was particularly going on with me beyond what I told him. He was um, very comforting it was it was clear that he was experienced um and w which is exactly what i needed because i had been hitting a wall with praying and fasting for my marriage praying and fasting um particularly for spirit spouses and operation of my marriage praying and fasting for different spirits that i could recognize in the realm of the spirit were in operation but i didn't truly know how to come against them and, and, and come against them strategically no matter what you think you know in god no matter how strong you think you are in god no matter how much you've been walking with jesus um there's certain things that you just don't know and for someone like myself who felt like they've been beating their heads head against the wall coming against these demonic entities it was such a relief to find someone um, a ministry that's so knowledgeable um in, in in these things and not only just knowledgeable in them but know how to properly execute strategies to come against them and win in jesus name and that's exactly what happened to me through my deliverance session um we renounced things i felt the tangible presence of god i felt the, the men there were the, the demonic manifestations as the spirits were leaving me leaving my marriage um i felt the tangible glory of god even after the deliverance i just i i felt just breakthrough and breakthrough and breakthrough were happening even in areas that weren't even what we touched on in deliverance um in the deliverance session um in addition in my deliverance session i received physical healing of my body during the deliverance so many different things came out um all the things that i had drunk um all the herbal con concoctions that i had drunk in the demonic world um i began to vomit those things up as well um, so many different things occurred during that deliverance. The power of God hit me and so many things were revealed in regards to the spirit of death and numerous countless other spirits that were um, casted out of me. And um, Pastor Fred retrieved my soul from the depths of hell um, where it was caged in. Since the Lord has delivered me and since he's been a, a you know, a, a father figure in my life, right? It's like he'll he'll come and he'll help me war if I'm in my dreams, you know, like because he's he's my spiritual father. So it's it's something where I've seen he's helped me like it's 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 so deep and it's something that's so, you know, not only now is it it's like now we're on assignment, you know, and just God has just done so much. He's moving miraculously. He's moving mightily. He's moving um, speedily. And um, it's just I'm just so grateful for where i am now in christ and the walk that the path that uh, the destiny that i have has been restored and i'm just so grateful to um you know god and to the man of god for being obedient and um walking in faith and and again being just completely obedient and sold out to christ because you know a lot of um i i my son wouldn't be able to be who he is now if i wasn't who i am now and i'm just grateful to god for his life and i am just so grateful i am so thankful that i am free that i have been set free i no longer have any symptoms i no longer am in bondage i'm just so happy. praise the lord hallelujah let's just rise as we thank him He's the doer of all these testimonies. Your own is tonight. Just thank him. Father Lord Jesus, we thank you for this testimony we've heard, we've heard here.
physically, we heard in international through the internet. Lord, we thank you for validating your word in the life of men. Thank you for setting the captives free, delivering the oppressed of the devil, setting those, delivering them from spirit wife, spirit husband, the spirit of limitation, spirit of bondage. Lord, we thank you. We return the glory to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Take the glory, take the honor, take dominion and praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We may be seated in the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. In a short while, we'll take our offerings, you package it. We'll call on Apostle Majesty to take our offerings while he's taken. Uh, Minister Chris Ade will come and will lead us in worship. Let's be seated as he worship. Praise the Lord. Let's call on our apostle. Hallelujah. You're getting blessed already? Praise the Lord. Can we lift up our offerings as we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for these offerings. We ask that through these offerings, you will bless us again. In the name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, I want to thank um, the man of God. I want to stand on existing protocols to appreciate the man of God. Hallelujah for this great honor. I mean, the testimony is, is mind-blowing. Thank you so very much for being a generational blessing. Thank you so very much. I want to thank our dear Apostle Majesty. It's so good to be again. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for the honor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I'd like you to just lift up your hands and just bless God for this amazing testimony. It can only be God doing this through his servant. It can only be him doing it through his servant. Father, we thank you, Lord. Can I have some backups help me on stage? Father, we thank you. Lord, we bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. I have found a place where I can call my own. I have found a place where I can be myself. A place where I have no secret to hide. A place where
worship him right now. With you, Lord, I can be naked and all the same. And with you, Lord, I can be over and ever feel love. I am so afraid.
Come on now. We worship you, Jesus. Oh. Yes, Jesus. Hey, oh, 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 oh. Jesus, we worship you. Jesus, we give you glory. We honor you, Lord. My hope and firm foundation. He'll never let me turn. I put my faith in Jesus. My Bye. 
worship God. God has done so much to be worshipped. Like can we just honor him? Just give him praise, worship him. He's a faithful God. He's a king of kings, the Lord of lords. We bring you thanks. We bring you glory. We bring you honor. We bring you adoration. Thank you for what you have done in our midst already. Thank you for the things that you have been doing. You are here to do the sin again. We we'll return the glory to you. We we'll return the honor to you. Peter was salted, O oh God. Peter glorified. Peter worshiped. Peter honored. Peter was tall. Thank you for your power here. Thank you for your presence here. We give you glory, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. With your hand lifted up. No situation in this place will go back the same way you came tonight. If God can heal a 40 years asthma, then there is no situation you can take care of here right now. I guarantee you that whatever you came in here with by the power of the creator, creator it shall be solved, it shall be taken care of in the name of Jesus. I see the Shekinah presence of God in the house and I see in the spirit realm there are these people who came in depressed. The spirit of depression is leaving you. There are people who came in here dry spiritually. I hear the Lord say to me, tonight you shall be refilled from my presence. Elirana Shamila Handus Kelire Ketus Kapara Vidia Merodas Kalites Kuparalish Kuparanas Kotabashataria O Mirana Sandeli Kariele Mansh Kefila Prandus Keta Ziparos Kelira Nasco Palire Vish Kalira Nasco Pile Vidia Merotus Kaliara Mansco Fila Kando Shatamba Hudia Epi 
Pila Roni na Mahandi la Corvi Vedia Nasco Pila Credinia Melon de Cota Melania Nasca Lira Nasco Fita Masca Lira Nasco Asi Paralia Nanande Pivila Aloconvia Ranasco Palidia Mande Ketu Rivande Prelicon Scalia Ranasco Palia Radasca Aba Riva La Riana Samila Randa Copila Craha Eshila Con Veria Masca Pura Vitandia Nahodia Aze Pica Melia Rossi Hila Candia Mekoski Fanda Shuli Prakos Kita and the Riviria Mela Rania Naconda Brene Candeliva Handia Makosita Lacredia Noshkate Mekodia Aze Prato Lika Tofira Mahadia O Salia Renescu Tande Clidina Scopaha Aze Preconde Shuli Frada Masca Aparila Cande Frihila Comba Hadia Atibaco Melia Renesco Fila Condish Calaba Oreno Saton de Hila Comiana da Vidia Apira Villa Conde Le Turiana Sudia Aparo Fisha Liro no Sata Meco Sela Hande Clehina Sudia Meco de Hila Pahonda Vigila Bahanda Gadia Mica Levina Anomale Conde Armania Azi Prato Blecadia Becladia A Becladia Becladia See as the spirit of the Lord tonight I've come in the fullness of my power To do that which consigns you Tonight I've come with the fullness of my glory To change your identity To change your situation Tonight I've come in the fullness of my power To restore to you that which the enemy has stolen from you That which the enemy has confiscated See as the spirit of the Lord tonight there shall be restoration Tonight I've come in the fullness of my power To change your situation Tonight I've come in the fullness of my power To end the evil circle Tonight I've come in the fullness of my power To move you to the next level See as the spirit of the Lord My power has been released My anointing has been released For behold I've heard your cries And I've come in the fullness of my power To reach out to you today See as the spirit of the Lord. For behold, my hand is reaching out to the root of your affliction, to the root of your challenges. And says the Spirit of the Lord, your days of weepings are over. Your days of lamentations are over. Your days of oppressions are over. Your days of stagnations are over. Your days of backwardness are over. Says the Spirit of the Lord, I'm bringing you from the back to the front. I am bringing you from the back to the front. She has the spirit of the Lord. I'm putting on you a new garment, a new aura, a new atmosphere. She has the spirit of the Lord. We are men laughed at you. We are they wrote you off. She has the spirit of the Lord. I am rewriting your history. I am opening a new chapter. I am opening a new page of your life. My hand has been stretched forth. No power can turn it back. Hala no sihanda halimanda kafadia. Eh, shala nekita nehilia. Ambakota aliara na suta. Meluria na kavinde palaronda sakutia. Ajimendo sekatia. There are people who came here tonight with questions in their heart. See, as the spirit of the Lord, there is an answer in the house to that question. Amali vehila kande behidia, asa pilodia remedia maharia. I see people in the pit, and I see the hand of Lord bringing them out of the pit, bringing them out of the pieces. We are the enemy kept you. I see God relocating you. I see a change of location. I see a change of position. I see a change of identity. Ah, melira na sutande kedi na mashudia. I feel Lord. Renetto, Clehidia, Osike, Hilanes, Covidia, Amekuta, Giliriana, Sudia. I have come as a righteous judge to judge and rule in your favor. See, as the spirit of the law, what the enemy has against you is about to be cancelled, it's about to be annulled. I see the power of God all over the house. Abila no sila hande kata. Avira torina shatia. Amile krodi anakotaba. Yes, ile kete 
pressure. Thank you, Jesus. I hear him say to me, reproach shall give way for my glory. I'm taking away reproach from the life of my children. I'm taking away shame from their life. I'm taking away pains from their life. I'm bringing them from the back to the front. See, as the spirit of the Lord, what people know you to that has been negative, there's about to be a change. Thank you for your presence. I see God healing an abdominal condition right now. Check your fears. If you have that condition, check it. God is healing you already. The power of God is touching that person. Healing has come for you. I see a lot of healing taking place in the house. There is healing in this house today. There's healing in this house today. I hear the Lord say, tonight I will cause you to see my glory. And when you see my glory, your life cannot remain the same. Oh my God. Rabashila handa kotala bahadia. Ah, namasuta. Ikala vith hindu sata. Abikota lirande kota mahande kelepudia. Oh, shela mahadia. Oh, shela mahadia. Who is he that see it? And it coming to pass when God has not commanded. See, as the Spirit of the Lord, my words concerning you will no longer tarry, will no longer be prolonged will no longer be prolonged. For you have come into the season of manifestation. You have come into the season of fulfillment. You have come into the season of actualization. Ah, there's power all over in this house already. Ah, I feel the Shekinah glory here. My goodness. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. It's all over in the house. I feel the Shekinah glory. Ah, Someone has a pain in the left breast. Healing has come for you. Check it up. There's healing for that person. That pain is gone. That pain is gone. I feel a ton de pecata, ratoria. I hear the Lord say the arrow of cancer is retrieved from somebody's body. Aha, mekota, ifrandeska, abilendo siteli bahadia. See, as the spirit of Lord, the voices that has been speaking against you shall be no more. He said, the voices of the evil speaker shall be no more. For I shall silence them forever. Hey! Zelita media kafidia upon the kito aliarenesco pa jile na sutandi na marulia vahadia oh paridia na kefe de budia amile konde alamandos kaliarodos avila kobrenia they have rejected you they have despised you but these days have come to glorify you I shall lift you before the eyes of men I shall cause my glory to be manifested. No, I shall see and know that I'm God. See as the spirit of the Mosaiko. Are lida masutia, afila no satila koriana. Yes, in amali arena sata. For behold, I've come to establish my freedom indeed. For no more will people question the authenticity of your service unto me. For behold, I've come to answer the questions that have been asked with manifestations. See the spirit of the Lord. Cannot we all lift up our hands? There's so much presence let loose here. Ali Katodia. Oh, Malakura Shita Mahadia. Ifala Bushita. Jesus. Likabarado Shata. And the Bushita Mahadia. The ancient pattern shall be broken. The stronghold shall be broken. You know why? The stronger than he has shown forth for you. He said there is a strong man that keepeth the house. But when the stronger than he shows, he disarmed him of all. He rendered him powerless. He rendered him impotent. And he stripped him of all he has stolen. And recovered back to you. Now, the stronger than he is, Jesus. John 10, 10 said, the thief come up for to steal and to destroy, but I have come. The arrival 
before the stronger than he is the arrival of restoration. Somebody is about to experience a restoration in the house. If you are that person, shout aloud, Amen. Amen. I feel a strong anointing for restoration in the house. Thank you, Jesus. My goodness. Thank you, Father. Your presence is heavy here tonight. I'd like you to be in the spirit. God is touching people. I don't know. People have been touched by the power of God. Don't look around and be bypassed. Are you hearing me? There is a touch of God's power here tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Touch your people. Touch your people. So I see certain people in the spirit realm. The Lord said to me, there is a refilling of fire. Uh, somebody's been refired from his presence. Ah, Linde Precocia, Handa says, Yes, 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 yes. It's all over Techno Breca, Liare de Shatan de Pihiria. Yes, 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 yes. There shall be a witness in the life of the people. Ha ha. Aratos Caliare de Calipa Tondia. And I see in the spirit realm that entity that has been sitting on your glory has been unseated. Good. Ashila Bakota, Laba. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Something is happening here. If you are believing God for the fruit of the womb, come. I see an angel giving babies. Come, come, come. Harabo shit and abahara da bashata. Yes, stand there. Harapakota lampre katapashutia. Open your hands as you are going to be receiving. Ah, jila na 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 na. Amila makanta pakuta pakuta pakande brakutia na nando bushutia. Ah, rananda puri la koska brete kete kete brakidia. Oh yes, Jesus. A parana sutali brahari. Asuta breka lirenes kotande rebosha ala prebosha handa bosha avila na sata das it ah oh yes lira tosha yes 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 take it in the name of Jesus yes 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 ora tabosha tapra da 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 ba you are receiving a visitation a visitation she has the spirit of the Lord ah look at that God is visiting you ela pre Radabosha, that's it, that's it, that's it. O precaution de precatoria, O Ranana Rabosha, Handa la Bahadia, Ayala Bariana Cota Bahande Lepredia, Ime Jalabarhamba, Ibarane Sialabacura Tasca, Ah Radabosata, Abarada Sata, La Prada Badabasita, O yes, Lord, Ricata Sata, Arabasata, Miracles in the life. Of your daughters, Arata Bashata, Labra, come quickly. Lift up your hands. I sense a wave of God's power that's going to hit you in this next minute. Lift up your hands properly. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, I address the powers from the waters that are contending with you. One, two, three. the shackles to be broken you spiritual strong man your hold is broken one two three break the power of whatever god has not planted that the enemy planted in your abdomen is coming out one the power is going to get heavy now one two three two right now right now holy ghost Shalakate, he bred a shilida Surya. Yes, 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 yes. You Asian powers break, 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 break. Look at that. Kabo Shita Radasha. Zabukata, that chain is breaking. It's breaking all over you. One, two, three. Break. Loser and let her go. Loser. The shackles is broken. No more reproach. She has the spirit of the Lord. Ah, the report is cancelled. Aratope Shatana Rebusha. Aracota Bakotaria. Ilanesuta Bredi Anakata. Any power 
an agent of wickedness that said you will never carry your baby i come in the frequency of fire and i declare judgment 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 right now judgment in the name of jesus a power is broken a power is broken the babies are released go forth and manifest thank you holy spirit thank you jesus can we just say hallelujah tell somebody friend it say it louder friend it let me hear you shout like a winner indeed you will be walking out of this place free if you believe it shout a louder amen Tonight, there is a shift that is taking place. And I guarantee you, your life will not remain the same after tonight. You are going to live here with testimony. Because the God of wonders is going to encounter you. The God of free indeed will encounter you. In the name of Jesus. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 18. Very quickly, we are going to be praying more and ministering to people. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 18. Paul began to speak there. I would have come to you guys. It's a paraphrase for me. But Satan hindered me again and again. Double emphasis. He hindered me again and again. I'm quickly sharing on what I tied to. Dealing with hindering forces from the courtroom of heaven. Dealing with hindering forces from the courtroom of heaven. Listen. Why the courtroom of heaven? Whatever the court of heaven grants you a verdict over is settled for life. Does somebody understand what I'm saying? The only reason why Satan is persistent on your case is because you have not gotten a verdict. I'm not going to go over what I've teach, taught yesterday anymore. The only reason why Satan is stubborn is because you are fighting a devil who has a legal ground against you. But once the legal ground is revoked, he can no longer stand you. Am I talking to believers? Tonight, every legal ground over your finances shall be broken. The legal ground over your destiny shall be broken. The legal ground over your family shall be broken. And you will walk out of this place free. If you believe it, shout a louder, Amen. So Paul said, Paul, how I many of you know Paul the Apostle? Highly anointed, highly endowed by the power of God. He said, I wanted to come to you. I was actually coming to you. But Satan hindered me again and again. That is Paul we are talking about. It's a serious matter, right? Paul was being hindered. I presume he was a destiny helper to the people of Corinth. To the people of Thessalonica, I mean, he was on his way to help them. He was on his way as an answer to their prayers. But Satan stood and said, you are not going anywhere. Tonight, every power standing on your way shall bow. If you believe it, shout aloud, amen. amen. In Zechariah chapter 2, from verse 1 to 4, Zechariah was in his a trance. As usual, he will go into a trance and he will see visions. And God will reveal to him and talk to him. And in this vision, he saw a young man with a measuring tip, measuring the length and the breadth of Jerusalem. And the angel that talked with him said, he said to the angel, go and stop that young man. For Jerusalem shall be a city Without war. In other words, Jerusalem is not meant to be restricted. Jerusalem is not meant to be inhibited. Jerusalem is not meant to be incapacitated. Jerusalem is not meant to be limited. What that young man was doing was a way of confiding Jerusalem so that nobody goes in and nobody comes out. That's a picture of so many of our lives. That there is a satanic hindrance around you. That prevent your blessing from coming in and blessings going out. You are hindered. You are limited. You are restricted. But today by the power of God, every restriction over your destiny shall be broken. Amen. If you believe it, shout it louder. Amen. amen. 
I discovered a spirit and name after the assignment. When you say hindering spirit, it's because its assignment is to hinder people. When you say the spirit of death, it's because its assignment is to eliminate. When you say the spirit of poverty, it's because its assignment is to make sure that there is no money in your pocket. Spirit and name after the assignment. Tonight, any spirit that has been troubling you, we are in a conference called Free Indeed. And by the virtue and the verdict obtained from the court of heaven, the legal hold over you shall be broken. That marital hindrance shall be broken. That financial hindrance shall be broken. That destiny hindrance shall be broken. If you believe it, shout a louder, Amen. A typical example of another hindrance is in Isaiah chapter 42 verse 22. These are a people robbed. They have been snailed in a hole. They have been literally locked up in a prison. And he said, but the good news, he said, no, see it restore, but I've come to see restore. A translation said, there is no prophet to command their restoration. There is no prophet to enforce their deliverance. I have come as a sent prophet from God to you and to your bloodline that whatever has been stopping you after today, they shall become history. If you believe it, shout it louder, amen. amen. Whatever stop your fathers will not stop you. Whatever stop your mothers will not stop you. Whatever stop other people will not stop you. I don't care how strong that thing is, but I've come to introduce you the stronger than he. When he shows forth, every strong situation melt. Tonight, that situation is coming to an end. If you believe it, shout aloud, amen. amen. Hallelujah. The power holding you will be broken. Amen. In Proverbs chapter 13, verse 12, hope deferred, make the bone sick. It's terrible. Nothing can be as frustrating as hindrances. That's why people commit suicide. Life hindered is life not lived. Life hindered is a curse. It's terrible. When you have the potentials, you have what it takes to be at the next level, but something is holding you in one place. You know that you are a star, but you, that for prophecy is not being fulfilled. Sometimes it is a lot of prophecy you have. You have prophecy filled in your book. You have been receiving prophecy. That was the case of Gideon. Gideon was told by the angel, you are a great man. You are a great man. He said to the angel, stop telling me all this stuff. Aren't you aware that my father is the least? My great grandfather is the least, and my and I'm going to be a least because it's a generational thing. It's a pattern in our bloodline. People don't get great. People are never great. People don't get to a certain point in life. So it's a pattern. Let me be. He was traumatized by his experience. Trauma is very bad. Hindrances can traumatize people. Am I talking to believers here? Some people in the mental home are not actually mental. It is trauma that sent them there. All effort proven abortive. All attempt failed. All effort failed. And when you come to that point, trauma becomes the order of the day. Tonight, God is bringing you out of that trauma. Whatever has held you in one place by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, we have come in the courtroom of heaven to decree by the verdict of pain from the court that you shall be free today. Amen. If you believe it, shout aloud, louder, amen. amen. Why? Jesus said in Luke 13, 12, Woman, thou art loose. In other words, the restriction is broken. What we'll stop you has no right to stop you anymore. And by the power of God, you are going to walk out of this place free today. Yeah. And there are several hindrances. There are financial hindrances. And sensual hindrances. Spiritual hindrances. There is a level you, you can't pray. There are people here. Once it's time to pray, you begin to sleep. <laughs> That's a hindrance right there. Whatever can, can I say something to you? That is the highest hindrances. Whatever can hinder your spiritual life has hindered you for life. 
Am I talking to believers? Whatever can hinder your prayer life has succeeded in hindering you for life. And the devil is, is, is a strategist. So he will go after your spiritual life. Hold you captive so that you remain there. All you do is to wake up and complain. I used to know somebody who complains a lot. Today, people are grown. He still, his life is not moving forward because he always complains. There is no helper. Things are not moving. Things are not happening. As long as you believe in that, it will remain. But tonight, the hindrances shall be broken. God told me that tonight he will break financial hindrances. I don't know what has hindered your finances. But I came with a mantle from God. And when I say hindrances of finances are breaking, some people are thinking about the economy of the country. Please, stop doing that. Because... The provision of God is not tied to the economy, to CBN. No. God is bigger than CBN. The provision of God is not tied to a failed economy by some incompetent government. No. Am I talking to somebody? The provision of God is the Bible saying Philippians 4.19. He will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. Not according to CBN. Am I talking to believers? Whatever hinder your finances, today those hindrances shall be broken. If you believe it, shout a louder amen. amen. Then there is marital hindrances. In Isaiah 25 verse 7, he said, Upon this mountain will I destroy the face of the covering cars that is spread over the people. Do you know what that means? When a man or a woman is covered, nobody see you. When you are covered, you can be beautiful all you care, but nobody knows. Why? Because your beauty is covered. Your glory is covered. Your potential is covered. Am I talking to believers? I'm working on a book, Change of Garment. There are things that covers people, that limit you and hinder you. When the devil succeeds in covering you, you will remain in that position. But tonight, anything covering your life shall be uncovered. In the book of Luke, the Bible says, after Jesus called Lazarus from the grave, he said, remove the grave clothes because he can be alive and with the covering curse, he's still as good as dead. Am I talking to believers? Tonight, whatever is covering your destiny upon this mountain, will I destroy the face of the covering cast that is spread over the people. Whatever is covering your bloodline, covering your destiny, the fire of God is consuming the covering cast. You will be uncovered. You will be uncovered. If you will shout aloud, amen. You shall be uncovered. Completely uncovered. In the name of Jesus. An example of hindrances is the children of Israelites in Exodus 12, verse 40. There was a prophecy that said, your children will go into captivity and spend 400 years. But the prophecy changed. In, in the Exodus 12, 40, they ended up spending 430. 30 years. What then happened? A couple of times we begin to say God has lied. God doesn't lie. Numbers 23, 19. God is not a man that will lie. No, a son of man that will repent. Whatever he says is committed to the performance. That's my paraphrase. He's committed to the performance of his word. Can I say something to you? Whatever God told you will come to pass. Whatever God told you, I don't care when you got that word, but I've come with a mantle from heaven to prophesy that your prophecies are coming to pass. If you believe it, shout a louder, amen. So the guy spent extra 30 years. That was the forces of hindrances at work. He had them in that position for extra 30 years. At 30 years, the child is already grown. Right? He's a man. He's married and with children sometimes. But 30 solid years, they were in captivity. The prophecy said 400 years, but there was an additional 30 years. Whatever is holding you in one position. The Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 6, you have do 
wait too long on this mountain, it is time to go to the next level. Somebody stand up and take a step from where you are to the next level. This is a prophetic meeting. This is not what I wanted to preach. But the ties just changed. We are going to go prophetically. There is a change as you just move now. You have moved from poverty to wealth. From single life to married life. From nothing to something. From darkness to light. From, la from disfavor to favor. From no breakthroughs to breakthrough. If you believe it, shout a loud amen. There is a shift happening for you today. You have dwelt too long on this mountain. God hid satanic hindrances. There are two major ways in which hindrances operate and manifest. Number one is by the spirit of diversion. That's what they call diversion. If Satan can't succeed, it, it sometimes he doesn't stop at hindering you, but he divert the blessings. He keep diverting the blessing. Almost there and never there. Almost there and never there. In Esther chapter 2, verse 21, there about. Mode Heman, sorry, Mordecai, revealed the plot that was meant to execute King Ahasuerus to him. It, it, it was documented and kept in record. But in chapter 3, another person was promoted instead of Mordecai. Can you see that version? These things are real, man. Another person took his place. And Mordecai didn't stop there. Prayer continues. The man who took his place plotted to eliminate them. But as they continued to pray, in chapter 6, verse 1, the Bible says, on that night, the king could no longer sleep. Why? Because it was time for Mordecai to be favored. Tonight, anyone who has taken your place, by the authority of God's word, there shall be a reverser. Hey, there shall be a reverser. There shall be a reverser. In Ezekiel 21, 27, he said, For I will overturn and overturn and overturn until it comes to whose right it is, then I will give it to him. Tonight, whatever belongs to you that has been diverted, I came with a mantle from God to decree that it shall be restored to you. There shall be restoration in the name of Jesus. Spirit of diversion. That power will be broken over your life. Enough of diversion. Esau and Jacob was a typical example of diversion. The destiny of, Jacob, of Esau was diverted to his younger brother. And there are so many people here that what belongs to you kept being diverted. But it shall be no more. If you believe it, you shout a loud amen. You work so hard when it is time for the reward. Somebody else takes your place. You work so hard when it is time to be promoted. Somebody else is being promoted. You work so hard when it is time to make money. Somebody else makes money and you are mom, you, you become a spectator. But I came with an anointing to prophesy. By the authority of God's word, you are taking your rightful place in destiny. You are taking your place in destiny. If you believe, shout a loud amen. amen. Quickly, because there's no much time. The second forces is the forces of delay. Very wicked force. This one will stampede you. Impound you. Incapacitate you. Hold you in one place, in one spot. Everybody is moving, but you are just watching. Very wicked spirit. Everybody, year in, year out, you kept aging without changing. Very wicked demon. Lives kept moving, but you don't move. Your mate kept moving, and every time they see you, you say, what is up? Tonight, there's about to be a change. Hear the word of God. In Ezekiel, the Bible says, in Ezekiel, the, I'm, I want to give you the exact quote. In Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 23, listen to this, before the 23, verse 18, the Bible said there was a proverb in the land that the days are prolonged and visions are failing. 
In other words, prophecies were not being fulfilled. A man of God says that what it was was that the people who goes to church became object of mockery. Very painful. People kept asking them, you go to church, what have you got to show for your church going? They kept asking them, you are a believer, you pray so much, you don't let us hear, but what have you got to show for your prayers? But hear what God said, God got angry. In verse 23, he said, God says the Lord, he said, there shall be no more prolonged days, for the effect of every vision has come. Somebody's not excited about that. When it is thus says the Lord, it's not contestable. Lamentation 337, who is it that see it? And it cometh to pass. When God has not commanded, I came with a thus says the Lord to you tonight. Thus says the Lord, there shall be no more prolonged days. Thus says the Lord, your situations are changing. Thus says the Lord, you are about to break through. The dust says the Lord can never be contested. It's coming to pass under pressure. In the name of Jesus. How do I deal with. I'm rushing now. With hindering forces. Number one. I'm not going to give so much key to. Number one. Let there be a genuine repentance. Get into alignment with God. That's all you need. Let there be an alignment. The reason why Satan is having a free day is because you are out of alignment. Get back in alignment. Tell somebody, get back in alignment. Tell that person, get back in alignment. Let there be a genuine repentance. And I'm talking of a life that is not, that has no place for compromise. I'm not saying you should be in Egypt. One leg in Egypt and another leg in Israel. No. All your leg has got to be in Israel. Am I talking to believers? When you live that life, you have given God a legal ground, number one. Then number two, to end it up with a court case, is that enforce your written verdict against the demon of delay. What is your verdict? Thus says the Lord. Ezekiel 18.23 There shall be no more prolonged days for the effect of every vision has come. That's the word of God. That's your verdict. The verdict says in Isaiah 54 verse 4. It says fear not. For you shall not be ashamed. The Lord will not allow you to be put to shame. Begin to issue out your verdict to the hearing of Satan. Get into the court. Stand eyeball to eyeball to, with Satan. And say this is my verdict. He said let my people go. That was the verdict Pharaoh came to Satan with. He said, let my people go. Thus says the Lord. Let my people go. Tonight, whatever is holding you. I've not just come here as an ordinary person. I've come as a mouthpiece of Jehovah God. To say, let my people go. Amen. If you believe it, shout it loud. Amen. amen. Let me give you a testimony that will, ascend, that will increase your faith. As I was coming to this country. I boarded British Airways. When I got to the airport, the load were quite much. So they said, oh, your load is too much. The British woman is saying, your load is too much. It looks like you're not going to travel. I said, let me pay extra luggage. She said, no, 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 no. Yeah, the, we, the, it's beyond the normal. This thing, you are the last person to get into the flight. It looks like we're going to have to Rescue for tomorrow you travel. I said, you dare not. My trip and my assignment is more important than anybody on that flight. And then she looked at me. Who must be this? Then the other lady sitting there walked up to me. Calm down. You fly first class. I feel first, first class here. Strange, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's it you know what that means God told me I'm sending you on an assignment and the assignment is to elevate my people listen wherever you find yourself before I came here it's impossible to remain there 
I was the only black person that flew first class from America to London. And then we entered the first class lounge and had a very sweet time. Are you hearing me? I came with that man to, to prophesy to you. Whatever has stopped you. Now see, I also discovered there is power in aggression. Aggression is the key to progression. When Satan see the violence, that's why the Bible says Matthew chapter 11, it said right from the time of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violence and only the violent men take at it by force. When you stand on the what you know and who you are, the devil bows. I've never heard that before. You fly first class like that. And God said to me, this that I've done is to communicate to you the volume of what I'm set to do in this trip you're embarking on. So I didn't come here by my power. I came here by the power of the almighty God. And I speak over you that after this meeting, there shall be a supernatural elevation. A supernatural shift. If you believe it, shout a loud amen. There's about to be a change for somebody. You have dwelt too long on that mountain. It is time to change level. It is time to change level. Why? Because the verdict said so. Is somebody hearing me? There is a verdict in your favor. There is a verdict in your favor. I can also announce to you the judge is in your favor. The judge is standing on your side. The righteous judge is on your side. And because he's on your side, no devil has the permission to hold you. Am I talking to believers? I started doing some videos preaching on, so for, for case of some doubters. Hallelujah. If God can break protocols, protocols are broken for you here today. If you believe us, shout a loud amen. So tonight, is, we're going to, about to begin commence ministration. Can we all stand, please? I didn't intend to preach this long. But I believe that as the word were going forth, deliverance were already taking place. God was using those words to confirm so many things in the life of people. And he said clearly to me, whatever has been hindering you shall be no more. He hindered you are the third generation that is about to be hindered. But I came to announce to you, you'll be the first to disappoint that devil. You'll be the first to say no to that bastard devil that is hindering other people. Am I talking to believers here? You are too important to be held captive. Too important to be ignored. Am I talking to believers? God will give you your rightful place in destiny. Your rightful place, the place that you belong. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to lead you in some prophetic prayers. While we're ministers. Where one of the scriptures we read is in Ezekiel 21, 27. It says, for I will overturn and overturn. We serve a God that overturned to you what is rightfully yours. The man at the beautiful gate, at, at the pool of Bethesda said, before I go in, somebody else takes my place. Oh, that's an evil experience. That you keep watching people taking your place. And there's just nothing you can do about it. But I've come with a word from God, it shall be no more. Amen. People take your place continuously. No more! Amen. Because you are not meant to be behind. You are meant to be in the front. Amen. So your rightful place is where you are going to take today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. So we are going to pray with passion. You are going to command an overturning. Whatever belongs to you that is in another person's hand. I don't care. Maybe it's a throne. Maybe it's an office. There shall be an overturning. That multi-millions will be overturned to you. Open your mouth and pray now. Ask the Lord to overturn all that belongs to you that is in the hand of the enemy. Open your mouth and pray. Shalaba koradaba shataba kotaria. Arataba shakata. Labadaba koradaba shataba koradaba shata. Iparataba shakata. Labadaba daba koradaba shata. Ipataba shakata. Labadaba daba koradaba. Ipataba kandaba shaka. I like you to pray with passion. Let God overturn to you that which the enemy has taken away from you. Let there be an overturning, an overturning. And overturning and overturning 
Arapa shala bada bada ba. E parada bada ba shata. E parada bada 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 ba. E prada ba shala bada 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 ba. E parada bada ba shala bada ba karada ba. E parada bada ba shata. E parada bada 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 ba shata. E parada ba karada ba shata ba. I like you to pray with all seriousness. Oh, pray, madam, pray. Arada bada ba shata. E parada ba shala bada ba kanda ba. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Listen, you will identify the area that you have been hindered and you are going to speak it out loud. I told you guys yesterday that your voice is very key and important in the court of heaven. Matthew chapter 12 verse 37. He said you are justified by the walls of your mouth. Justification is a legal terminology, you know. It means if you don't speak out, you remain bound. So it also means that your mouth is a major tool of restoration. <laughs> you are going to use it right now. Are you ready? Because the court is waiting for you to, to, to bring in your voice. Once your voice comes in, the voice speaking against you goes silent. Am I talking to believers? So you are going to open your mouth and command every form of inhibition, restriction, hindrances in your life. You are going to command it to break. And I'd like you to pray with passion because I'm going to tell you by the spirit of God when the hindrances are no more. And I, I, and I guarantee you that as we pray tonight, the angels of God are going to swing into actions and hindrances shall be broken. Are you hearing me now? When that is no more, then your doors will begin to open. Help will begin to come for you. You are going to open your mouth. Say with me in the name of Jesus. Say it louder in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I step into the courtroom of heaven. I step into the courtroom of heaven. I deploy the blood of Jesus. I deploy the blood of Jesus. Into my bloodline. Into my bloodline. Into my foundation. Into my foundation. Patana and matana. Every covenant, every covenant, every iniquity, every iniquity, every sin, every sin, every transgression, every transgression that has given Satan a legal ground to hinder me, to inhibit me, in the name of Jesus, I revoke that legal ground. I break the hindrances. I advance into my breakthrough. Let me hear you pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Here the Lord said to me, He said, Command the garment of hindrances to be removed. Amen. There are garment of hindrances. The Bible says in Zechariah chapter 3, why there is a garment, Satan, the Bible says, Satan stood and resisted the high priest. Why? Because he was wearing a garment. You are going to pray every garment on you that gives Satan authorization to hinder you. Today, open your mouth and begin to remove it. Now, hold on, hold on. Let me lead you. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every evil garment. Every evil garment. On my body. On my body. That gives certain authorization. That gives certain authorization. To hinder me in life. To hinder me in life. I destroy the garment. 
destroy. I remove it by fire. Open your mouth and pray. Let me hear you pray. Araka bada bashaka. Araka until the anointed off. Oh, shala bada bashaka. Abarada bashaka. Abarada bada 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 bashaka. Jesus. Amen. You are going to pray in Isaiah 25 7. He said, Upon this mountain, where we are is a mountain, you know, right? Oh, yes. Anywhere prayers are prayed is a mountain. We are on a mountain of the Lord. We are going to pray. He said, Upon this mountain, I will destroy the face of the covering cast. Whatever has covered your beauty, covered your glory, covered your original identity, open your mouth and an uncovering. Oh, oh, let's, let me lead you guys. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I deploy the fire of God. I deploy the, fire I deploy the, fire I deploy the hand of God. I deploy the, I deploy the blood of Jesus. I deploy the blood against of Jesus. every covering cast. Against every covering cast. On my life. On my life. Be destroyed. Of the amount of prayer. Let the covering cast be destroyed. Let the covering cast be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Say with me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I step into the courtroom of heaven. I step into the courtroom. I deploy the blood of Jesus. I deploy the blood of Jesus. Against the generational hindrances. Against the generational hindrances. The forces that hindered my fathers. The forces that hindered my fathers. That is now prevailing against me. That is now prevailing against me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I destroy you. I destroy you. By the speakings. By the speakings. Of the blood of Jesus. Of the blood of Jesus. I engage. I engage. The advocacy, the advocacy of the blood of Jesus blood of over Jesus. my life in the court of heaven. Open your mouth of praise. Oh my God, angels are already here. I see angels already in the congregation. Oh yes. We're going to pray now. Listen. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command the gates of delay. I command the gates of delay. To be lifted up. To be lifted up. Open your mouth and begin to penetrate. Let that gate be lifted. Let that gate be lifted. Let it be lifted. Let it be lifted. Let the gate be lifted. In the bada bada bada. In the bada bada bada. In the bada 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 bada. 
Unlocking from doors. Amen. That's a good one. In Revelation 3, verse 8, he said, Behold, I set before you an open door. No man can shut it. In Isaiah 22, verse 22, he said, The keys of the house of David is upon my shoulder. The door I open is open. The door I shut is shut. You are going to command your door of marriage to open. Your door, listen, when the door is shut, no matter how hard you try, you will be behind the door. So many of you, the door has been shut all this while, but it will open today. You know why? The key of David open it and no man can shut. That key of David will go into action on your behalf. The door of marriage will open for somebody. I'm telling you what will happen immediately because you will be having seven suitors at, on the spot at, 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 at the same time. At that point, you'll be looking for prophet everywhere to confirm. Am, am I talking to somebody? I'm telling you what will happen after now. The kind of testimony Gucci had under pressure will be too, too small compared to what will happen for some of you here. Under pressure, money will begin to meet money in your hands. Under pressure, doors are begin to begin to open for you. You are going to pray and command every door to open. Say in the name of Jesus. Every destiny door that the enemy has shut before me. I open you by fire. Open your mouth of prayer. Let the door open. Let it open. Let it open. Open your mouth of prayer. Let it open. Let that door open. Let it open. Let the door open. Let it open. Jesus. Let the door open. The doors for you are open. The doors 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 are open. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He la ba 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 ba. He la ba 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 ba. That married that door is open. 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 That door is open for you. That door is open. It's open. It's open. 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 It's open. It's open. It's open. It's open. Your door is open. Your door is open. It is open. It is open. That door is open for you. That door is open for you. The power of God. Open your door. Open that door. Your doors are open. Your doors are open. In the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Doors are open. Doors are open. Doors are open. Your door is open. It is open. It is open. Oh, Ah. That door is open for you. I command that door to open. Let it open. 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 The door is open. You will see miracle. The door is open. The door is open. 
Hira Boshida, Hara Kotabahari, your doors are open, your doors are open, the gap is open for you, it's open, it's open, it is open, 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 power of the Holy Ghost, doors are open, doors are open, doors are open, look at it, 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 look at it. Ah, bring up a cosida. Here it was, Sita. Here it was, the Nicabara Rosa. Ah, da 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 your doors are open. Your doors are open. Doors are open. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I just saw cobwebs being uncovered. Amen. People with cobwebs on their face. Amen. I see the Lord removing cobwebs. Amen. You will never be hidden again. Amen. I see some people here. The Lord said to me, your experience is consistent, continuous misrepresentation. It shall be no more. Amen. That spirit that makes them misrepresent you is losing its hold over you today. A part of the Holy Spirit, spirit of misrepresentation is losing its hold over you. You are going to pray this prayer with up seriousness. You are going to call back. Listen. True justice, I say it again, is with total and complete restoration. I know what restoration is. Restoration is different from recovery. Restoration is times 10, times 7. The things you lost is time. Now, you know why it has to be times? You lost years. It would be unfair for God to just deliver you and just release it to you. No. There have to be a restoration of years. Am I talking to believers? That's true justice. That's when it's fair. There is complete and total. If you have lost 30 years, there shall be complete restoration times 10. Amen. Am I talking to believers? That all you lost in 30 years will be gained in one day. Amen. Is it possible? Yes. It's possible. You're going to ask God whatever belongs to you. Now the Bible says in Isaiah 60 verse 5 the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto you. There is something that belongs to you in the sea that must come to you. Whatever the marine has taken away from you. In Job chapter 19 verse 9 he said they stripped me of my glory and they took the crown of my head. Now take note. In chapter 8 in verse 8 he said they fenced my way hindrances that I won't be able to move. He didn't stop there. He stripped him of his glory. And he took the crown of his head. Wickedness. Today, anything Satan stole from you, you are going to recover it back. Nice time. Restoration by fire. Say with me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We step into the courtroom of heaven. We step into the courtroom. Where there is true justice. Where there is true justice. We, are, we ask the righteous judge. We ask the righteous judge. Recover, recover all. That the enemy has stolen from the us. Enemy has stolen from, from, us. Our fathers, from our fathers. From our bloodline. We recover them by fire. Open your mouth and pray. Restoration. God is restoring to you the years that the Sanka ones, the Pama ones have eaten. There shall be complete restoration. Complete restoration. Complete restoration. Total restoration. Restoration, restoration. In a Badabada Bashata, total restoration. Total restoration. Alabada Badabas, Ricada Badaba Shata, total restoration. A Badabada Bashata, Hirada Badaba Shata, A Badabada Bash, Hilabada Badaba, Command Restoration. 
Come on, get up, lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Put our restoration. Put our restoration. Put our rest on the crown of your soul of your feet. You powers of the ancient forces. Command your hold to break. One, two, three, loose her, loose her, loose her, loose her, loose, loose, loose. Let the power of the ancient deities break. Break, break, break. One, two, three, out. I deploy fire all over you now. The fire of God is coming on. One, two, three. All over you from the crown of your head to the soul, every stronghold. Break, 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 break. It's going to go now. One, two, three. I order you to let her go. Let her go. One, two, three on this altar. I command you, lose her, lose her, lose her. One, two, three. Out. It's not gone yet. It's going to go. I deploy fire all over you. One, two, three. Go. Go, go, go. Out. That spirit is going to jump out of you. It's going to jump out. That strong man. One, two, three. Come out of her. Out, out, out. Out. By fire. Lose her. Lose her. Let her go. Lose her. Lose her now. Lose, lose. I lose you by fire. The Bible said, Jesus said, woman, thou art loose. I lose you. The power of that strong man be broken over you. Break. 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 Ha. Ashala toba shata. Yera data bokata. Lose and let her go right now. In the name of Jesus. The strong. Lift up your hands to heaven, everybody now. The power of God is going to touch people. There shall be healing in the house. There shall be deliverance in the house. The hold of darkness will be broken. No one will go back the same way you came. Let the hold of darkness over you break. Break! 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 One, two, three. Break! You're free. The power of the Holy Spirit. Lift up your hands, be in the Spirit. Shalabakura Shatabaharia. Ah, Jilamanuski Tabaharia. Let this daughter of Zion go right now. Jesus says, Is this not the daughter of Abraham that Satan has taken captive? Meaning it's an abomination. Let her go. One, two, three. Lose her. Lose her. Shilamakura Satabaharia. Today is your day of total deliverance. That stronghold is broken over your life. Break! Break! The yoke of stagnation is breaking. That spirit of failure at the age of success is breaking over you. The Lord is breaking the shackles, breaking the stronghold. Break! Break! Those things that takes you backward in your dream is broken. Are you hearing me? I see God breaking the shackles. The stronghold is broken. You are free today. Thank you for delivering your song. Lift up everyone. Lapo Shalabaharia. Aranastut Bahura Kataria. Put your two hands on your head now. Isaiah 10 27. In that day will the yoke be destroyed. I hear the Lord said to me, the yoke of poverty shall be broken over people. Yoke of death shall be broken. Yoke of stagnation shall be broken. Every yoke the enemy placed on you is broken today. Is broken Amen. by my hand laid on you. The yoke is broken, Amen. it is broken, Amen. it is broken. Oh my god, it is broken, Amen. it is broken, Amen. it is broken. Amen. And I hear in my spirit there's a restoration of glory here. Amen. There are people the enemy stole their glory, their glory is being restored. Amen. It's total restoration. Can we? We're gonna take a worship song alongside with this restoration. There's something God wants to do. I see people in the spirit realm that their hair physically has been falling off. But two of them. You've been noticing that your hair has been falling off lately. It's actually spiritual. God is going to restore to you that glory. It's not, it's not normal. There shall be complete restoration. God is going to restore to you whatever Satan has told. I see someone specifically. 
you lost is a pause like a handbag that was taken away from you in the dream. God said there shall be restoration. Amen. Another person here, you had a dream where your handset was lost in the dream. God will restore to you what the enemy has told you. I hear the Lord said to me, there's someone here, you have been physically, you experienced strange losses. Things disappear mysteriously. But says the spirit of the Lord tonight, there shall be restoration. There shall be restoration. The Lord will restore to you the things the enemy has told him. As we, we're going to worship God a little bit, there shall be instant restoration. And I'm going to pray for the sick after this. I'm going to pray for the sick and there shall be healing immediately. Any affliction in your body is going to go. You'll be completely healed by the...
and I command total restoration. You are receiving restoration of your stolen glory. I see someone is a child that the enemy stole your glory while you were a child. But I hear the Lord say that glory is restored. That glory is restored. That glory is restored. There's a true restoration of glory in the house. Let the glory be restored. Take it back. In the name of Jesus. Your glory is restored today. Your glory is restored today. That which fit your status will be released to you. Your glory is restored today. Receive it back in the name of Jesus. Receive it back in the name of Jesus. Total restoration. In this meeting, God has changed your identity. When your glory is restored, your identity changes. Today I pray for you by the power of God. Your glory is restored. Every power that stole your glory, that glory is restored today. Somebody is your financial glory, God just restored. You were doing well financially and all of a sudden, everything just closed up. But see as the spirit of the Lord, that glory is restored to you. That financial glory is restored. That marital glory is restored. That career glory is restored. In the name of Jesus. Put your hands on your abdomen now. I'm going to pray this final prayer. And I'm going to minister to people. We handle the prayer point, right? Okay. Put your hands on your abdomen. Whatever, listen. You hear the testimony that in the course of deliverance, true zone, not physical. A bloated tummy deflated on the spot. A bloated tummy deflated on the spot. Whatever God has not planted, that the enemy planted in your body shall be uprooted. There are people here that you have cases that the doctor has told you you need surgery. Hear me. The medical doctor, Jesus, the surgeons of heaven will take you through a surgical operation here. Those things will be taken out of your body. Those things will be operated out of your body. In the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for your children today. Whatever is not planted by you in their body. That Satan has planted. At the shout of the name of Jesus three times. You are going to shout Jesus three times. And those things will be gone. Are you hearing me? At the count of one. One, two, three. Go. Jesus. The next one louder. Jesus. Shout it louder! Jesus! It's all over, it's all over, it's all over. Whatever is not of God, it's all over, it's all over. It's living your body right now. Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, it's going, it's going, it's going, aha. It's all over. Iratabanabasha. All over whatever God has not planted is leaving your body, it's leaving your body. Look at it. Go! Let there be a deflation physically by the power of God. Let it go, let it go, let it go. There is nothing you cannot do. Yes, Lord. 
your children today in the name of the resurrected Jesus we command healing upon your children every affliction go 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 no 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 Jesus let the healing power of God come upon you healing power healing power we command a healing anointing upon these lives every affliction in your body Stop right now. bones and marrows align together let the tissues align together we bring you healing by the power of God we command healing let this daughter of Zion walk perfectly again let her be on her feet again we declare healing power of God ah, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet we command healing upon your feet. Let your feet become strong again. Let pains be gone. Let the healing power, every power of wickedness against you. We command it to expire. Expire. Thank you for your healing power. I feel the healing anointing on you. I healed.
Out! 
out, out. Look at that, it's gone. Go. The spirit of Malekata. of Jesus it is gone your healing is established receive your healing you are healed you are healed it's permanent you are healed in the name of Jesus you are healed you are healed every affliction is gone Jesus apostle apostle Shall we please rise on our feet as we pray over your bottles of oil? Lo shiha manahando delaita elombedish lohu mahata elahidia mando. Where are your bottles of oil? If you have your oil, can you lift it up, please? Open it. The power of God is flowing into that oil now. From this moment. What you are carrying in your hand becomes miracle oil, deliverance oil, healing oil. In the name of Jesus, from these bottles of oil, La Mahande Taika, Ejaladu Bi La Handa Katalia, Elombeditu Mana Ya 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 Ya, Elombedisho Talia La Hando Koto, Elepanetai Ashuta Mendo Talini Shutalia. Ele peno tandi shata ilahada mendo kotolia. The bottles you carry in your hands are no longer ordinary. They have been fertilized with the presence of God in the name of Jesus. Anywhere you use this oil from this moment, the power of God will flow. The power of God will flow. The hand of God will be released in the name of Jesus. We declare mighty miracles will happen through this oil. In the name of Jesus, we declare testimonies by this oil. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I hear your amen? Can I hear better amen? In the name of Jesus Christ, through these bottles of oil, the sick will be healed. Through these bottles of oil, doors will be opened. Through these bottles of oil, miracles will happen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Allah Matatalia, somebody with a strange affliction in your body, as you apply this oil to your body now, the Spirit of God says you will be healed. There is a strange affliction in your body. As you apply this oil now, that strange affliction will leave your body. Can I hear a better amen? Are you tired of saying amen? amen. Say it better. In the name of Jesus Christ. El shooter. In alignment with the apostolic mantle in this assembly, I declare that the oils are blessed. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will confirm this oil with mighty testimonies, with great healing power, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Elohim Shutaya, Mendotalia. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, in agreement with the prophet of God in the house, we declare tonight that all your prayers are answered. In the name of Jesus Christ, Allah handalia. Can you shout five hallelujah? Five hallelujah. One to go. I am an Asatania. Ela batande shata. Hey, ayaya tata. Benatai, benatai. Allah la basata tania. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Can we clap for Jesus? Your name is here. Show me
Listen, listen, listen. Your life has all changed. Now listen to this. One key I didn't say, something I was supposed to talk when I was talking about hindrances, is the hindrances of the mind. Very powerful. I've seen cases of people that after deliverance, they keep calling you and say, oh, I think I'm still bound. Freedom, after you are free like this, the next freedom is the freedom of the mind. There must be a paradigm shift. There must be a change of mind. The Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. When God healed you, you have to be healed in your mind. When God delivered you, you have to be delivered in your mind. The demons that used to trouble you, they are no more. The legal ground Satan has against you, doesn't have it again. Are you hearing me now? So that, that mindset has to change completely. Walk out of this place with a freedom mindset. Am I talking? With a delivered mindset. No more will you be inhibited. No more will you be restricted. No more will you be limited. What you couldn't do before, begin to do them in your mind. Then do them in the physical. I said this finally before I close. We are already overshoot our time. But you know, this is a grand finale. When the freedom tarries, sorry, when hindrance is tarries in a man's life, the reason why it, it results to trauma is because it shifts from the physical to the mind. It becomes a mind thing. I tell you this story very quickly. A young lion was captured. I think Kenneth Hagen told this story. I can't remember vividly. And had the lion was tied down to a stick. And the lion grew up watching other lion moving. He couldn't move. So he grew up in that state. He has attempted to move severally and couldn't move. So he retired, retired back to his state. And said, so maybe this is my lot in life. This is what God, how God has created me. This is all that there is for me. And so when the owner, the man who tied the lion to the stake, came and untied the lion, the lion was still there. And the question was asked, at this point, what is holding the lion? Is it the, 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 the rope or the mind? And they said it's the mind. The, the, the bondage moved from being tied to a stake to the mind. Even though he was untied, he couldn't move because he didn't see himself bound. So he could not move. Am I talking to believers? So there can be hindrances in your mind, whereas there are no physical hindrances. That's what we call a mirage in physics. A mirage is an optical illusion that appears to be and is not. That's the definition. It means that as you are driving on the highways, you see something that appears to be. But the closer you get, the more you see that there is nothing. Somebody help me. I just preach a sermon now. So obviously, whatever has been holding you before now is no more. You are free forever. So walk out of this place thinking free. See yourself free. See open doors. See abundance. See you can see yourself getting married. Your doors are open. Congratulations. Congratulations. While the service work was going on, a great man of God, Pastor Kola, and his dear wife walked in. Can we appreciate that with a clap of friend? They are doing a great work in Koboa. We appreciate you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you blessed? Have you been blessed in the past two days? Has God encountered you? Oh my goodness, your life cannot remain the same. If you believe it, shout it loud, amen. I can Hallelujah. see Just everything. Celebrate so Jesus. Turning around, turning around. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. There are diverse testimonies that took place just now. Blind ears popped open. Praise the Lord. Who is that to, ver uh, to verify it? Where's that lady? That one ear, a uh, deaf ear, sorry, deaf ear, deafness of the ear that popped open. Praise the Lord. And several more testimonies. Praise the Lord. And I believe in our next conference, you, we will give you the privilege to come testify. 
to the glory of God. There are diverse testimony, miracles, healing, deliverance, uh, added, to the, added to the ones that we heard here and abroad also in the name of the Lord. Once again, on behalf of the Army of God Ministry, I want to thank you for coming. I want to thank you because this conference is fulfilled. Praise the Lord. All that God has for you has been delivered. You are no longer bound. You are no longer bound. You are, it's not the you that, is, that came here that is now. You are the transform, it's the transform you that is going home here. Praise the Lord. Once again, we thank you. And we pray that the Lord God will bless you in the name of Jesus. And those that came after we've taken our offerings, if you're going back, you see an offering basket, you can drop your offering. What you bring to God, you don't take home. Praise the Lord. It's a principle. If you come, don't happy. If you eat it, it's not good. Praise the Lord. So when you bring anything to the house of the Lord, and because that time has passed, drop it on the altar. It speaks for you. Once again, congratulations. Rise up and congratulate two, three persons and say, I'm free. I am 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 free. Everything is turning around from my prosperity. In Jesus' name we pray. I can see everything. Surely, in Jesus' name we have prayed. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Shalom. Turn it for my good. It is turning for my good. Hey. Promotion turning for my good. Provision turning for my good. Hey. Turn it for my good.